Good morning, Bold Bakers. We are live streaming today as this Thursday's episode. I thought it'd be really fun to do a live stream. And we're also gonna do a Q&A in this live stream. So you can ask me in real time any questions that you like about me, about baking, about my YouTube channel, Kevin and Waffles, anything you like, send in your comments. Also, in this video, I'm going to be doing a recipe for my Mug Meals book. Now, a lot of you know that I have a Mug Meals book out for the holidays and I'm going to be showing you an exclusive recipe. It's a s'more mug cake that's in that book. I'm gonna be sharing that exclusively with you today. Now I want you to stay tuned to the end of this video because I also have a special surprise. And for the best comment that comes in, I'm gonna be giving whatever one I pick to be the best, I'm gonna be giving you a free ebook so you have one just in time for Christmas time or the holidays, whatever you celebrate. So, Gemma, so many people tuning in oh, right nice. now. They're excited. They've been waiting a long, long time. Oh, thank you. Saying happy holidays. Happy holidays. You never know when you do a live stream if people are queuing up to get in. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. I'll let you know what time it is. It is 8.31 right now. So if you're watching this right now, we are live streaming, which is really fun because I love to live stream. Gemma, let's start off with a, a few things, especially for folks that are newer here. Yeah. Uh, so first of all, where are we? Who are you? Okay. Where are you from and where are you right now? So we um, are in Los Angeles, California, even though by the looks of that weather it is miserable. It's just like Ireland. It is lashing rain here in Los Angeles, which is kind of crazy because it never rains. Ever. So, um, but we are in Los Angeles. I'm from Ireland. I'm a professionally trained chef. So that's why we are making all of these great recipes here on my channel. Um, I don't know about, I know that yesterday was the first day of winter, however, Los Angeles weather is always the same, so I have no idea what's going on right now. But I like it, I like it, because I'm not going home to Ireland for the holidays, so I like a bit of rain. Thank you everybody for all the great comments coming in, I see that they're coming in there. Let, just let me know any comments you have at all, and Kevin will read them out to me. Alright Gemma, uh, some questions about uh, how did you get started in baking? Um, so uh, my mom was a fantastic cook and a baker and ever since I was really really young I had, I had really good food. My mom made like, amazing things. So um, uh, I think a lot of that was my inspiration from my mom. She had loads of cookbooks. I used to love to read them. So it's very, it all kind of started at home for me. I was just obsessed with like baked goods and reading cookbooks and all that stuff. So from a very very young age. Will we get started on the recipe, Kevin? Are we waiting for more questions? No, absolutely. Let, let's talk more to um, to the fans out there. Sure. I think um, so. There is um, a lot of questions, Jim, about how you come up with your recipes. So, um, awesome dude actually asks, how much time do you spend creating and testing new recipes? Um, I spend all of my time doing uh, recipes because um, a lot of you know that my YouTube channel is my full time job. We do this twenty four seven and never turns off. So I'm always uh, researching new recipes, developing recipes. A lot of the inspiration though comes from you guys. I read through the requests that you send me. I um, like put a nice little finish on them and I fine tune them. And I kind of, um, I think what will work best for the channel, what will work best for you guys and my international audience. And then from all of those things, I come up with my recipes. But um, it all starts from you. All right. So keep all your suggestions coming in all the time for bowl baking basics and for bigger, bolder baking because um, I really, really love that. All right. Jim, what's, um, what are, let's see, some of uh, your favorite things that you like to bake? Um, I love meringue and pavlova. I think a lot of you might know that already. I love, absolutely, mm -hmm. one of my favorite desserts. And I also love to make ice cream, my no machine uh, two ingredient ice cream. That's really, really fun too because you can make one ice cream and make a million flavors. But I think, I think, well, like my like must must have would be like meringue or pavlova. That's great. But that's from growing up in Ireland. My mom used to make them a lot. All right. Does everybody want to see the um, s'more mug cake recipe? Yeah, I want to show you the s'more mug cake recipe. It is absolutely delicious. It's really, really soft, chocolatey mug cake with graham crackers and marshmallows. It's really, really good. So Jen, um, we're gonna we're gonna pop over to the secondary camera okay, here, okay. and we have the special up close and personal camera here as well. Ah, uh, ooh, all right. Keep all your comments and your questions coming in. Kevin will ask them, um, shout them at me when I'm making my mug cake. They're all fantastic. Keep them coming. Can you see me here, Kevin? Yeah. Will I go ahead? Absolutely. Okie dokie. 
As per usual, we're going to start out in a microwavable mug. I had this pretty funky mug that I got in Santa Barbara a while ago in a thrift store. I absolutely love that, it's my special one. So into our microwavable mug, I'm going to add in my dry ingredients. Now, this recipe can be found on my website, but I'm going to give you more information about this later. So into our mug, we are going to put in some flour. This is just regular all-purpose flour. In you go. We're going to add in some brown sugar. Brown sugar gives you kind of a nice caramelly kind of a sugary flavor. In you go there, brown sugar. So Jim, let me ask you, what do you do if you don't have brown sugar? You can make brown sugar. By, um, in my bowl baking basics videos, I showed you how you can make brown sugar by mixing molasses or treacle in with white sugar. And if you really don't have molasses or treacle, you can always just use white sugar. And then here we're going to add in some cocoa powder. Now, as always, I ask no, like use unsweetened cocoa powder because the sweetened stuff is just not great. And don't use hot chocolate powder. Don't even think about it. There we go. In goes our uh, cocoa powder. And then you just want to mix all those ingredients together with a fork. I like to mix my dry up first. Now, like I said, the recipe for this can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. So just mix those ingredients together. Now you'll notice that this mug cake does not have an egg, so it's really, really great. Lots of requests for eggless recipes out there. I always take them into consideration. So this little mug cake has no egg. Now into our dry ingredients, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. So here I have some water. In you go, water. And then have a little bit of flavorless oil. Now this can be a canola oil, a vegetable oil, even coconut oil, but just don't use olive oil. Olive oil can be, um, can taste too strong. Don't use olive oil in baking, unless you're making an olive oil cake. Mix those together. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of vanilla extract. This is my homemade vanilla extract. I love this, it smells, it doesn't look as dark as um, store-bought vanilla extract, but it smells and tastes just as strong. So a tiny bit of vanilla extract in there, in you go. Now you can see this is a really easy mug cake to make. Give those guys a bit of a mixy mix. So a lot of you know that I have over, Kevin, is it like over 50 or 60 mug recipes on the channel? 60 plus mug recipes. 60 plus mug recipes. In my mug meals book, I have um, 30 recipes and 10 of them are all brand new and this is actually one of them. So it is well worthwhile buying that for Christmas and also there is no shipping and handling so if you need something last minute for a gift you can order that online. It is um, available worldwide and you get it straight away. So just keep that in mind, you don't have to head to the shops, you don't have to leave your house, you've got a present right there. Jim, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. Um, Anna Maria asks, why don't you put measurements in your recipes, like in the videos in the themselves? Videos. That's a really good question. Um, because we, uh, we, have, uh, we keep all of our recipes on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. On the website, they're all there laid out for you, really pretty, there's lots of extra notes about the recipes, and also you can print off the recipes from the website. So it is much easier and cleaner to um, put them on our website. Also, I convert all of my recipes to cups and to grams and to ounces, and we can't flash all of that on the screen, it's just too much. So for all of my recipes, and also for like extra hidden recipes that I don't put on YouTube, head over to my website, because there are tons of recipes over there. Is that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Jeff. Um, so here you go, let me show you our little mug cake. There he is, can you see him, Kev? Yep. Ta-da! All mixed up, ready it. to go. Kevin, I'm going to pass this over to you and you okay. can put them into the microwave. All right, sounds good. Thank you. All right. One minute. So, Kim, uh, let's, let's um, actually, we'll get back to some questions. Okay, great. Um, questions coming in. Let's see. So, Kevin, just some, one, one simple one. Um, what is uh, self-rising flour? Self-rising flour is... That's from Sealy. All-purpose flour or a plain regular baking flour that has um, baking powder added to it. So it's just plain flour that has a raising agent added to it. Um, 
you can make self-raising flour if you can't buy because you can't buy it in all countries you i have a recipe on um as part of bold baking basics i have a recipe of how you can make your own self-raising flour it's really really easy Gemma, you're actually getting a lot of questions um dash gs the great do your recipes ever fail yes <laughs> yes they do <laughs> We don't show that on camera, but um, like it, it gets really hot in LA on some days. I've had cakes that have melted, that have literally fallen apart. Um, remember I made a cupcake bouquet around uh, over two years ago or something? Uh, it was so hot in LA that the cupcakes melted off. Oh my gosh, like we, yeah, like I make mistakes. There's no doubt about it. And actually, if you follow me on my Facebook page, sometimes I post a lot of fun pictures of mistakes that I've made there. So definitely Gemma, Stafford, Gemma Stafford's Bigger Boulder Baking on Facebook. Go check that out and like my page. Gemma Simply Rejoiced asks, what do you do in your leisure time? What do I do in my leisure time? I work. <laughs> I look up recipes, I test recipes. Um, I'm constantly thinking about food. Um, I like food is a huge part of 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 who I am. I I did it. I studied it in school. I live it every day with my job. So um, a lot of my what I do in my spare time revolves around food. And also I have my doggy waffles, and um, we go for walks outside myself and Kevin and waffles a lot, and we get out and about in Los Angeles. Gemma Allison Woods asks, do you play any sports? Okay, so I used to play basketball in school because I'm almost six foot tall. A lot of you, some people know that and some people don't, but I'm almost six foot tall. So I um, was good at sports like that and hockey. Um, in Ireland, I used to play rounders, which I was really good at. And I used to um, do horse riding as well. But now all I do is I do spinning and um, I do walking and stuff. Every single day I have to go walking. That's Those true. are the sports I do now. <laughs> um... Let's see, so um, what's your favorite Christmas dessert? Holidays are coming up here, we're days away. What's your favorite Christmas what's dessert? Favorite Christmas That's dessert. from Mona uh, Eleanor. In Ireland we have um, our own tr traditional Christmas dessert. So like there's Christmas pudding, there's Christmas cake, and there's mince pies. Oh my gosh, mince pies. So I would say um, uh, my favorite Christmas dessert would be Christmas pudding, which is kind of like what people consider uh, figgy pudding where it's like all steamed with raisins and brandy and all that sort of stuff. I love that. I'm not going to be having any this year because I'm not going to be going home to Ireland, but um, I probably can get my hands on some mince pies. All right, Patrick Lamb asks, make a bold baking basics videos yeah. of making homemade vanilla extracts. I did. <laughs> I did my video. <laughs> Go back and watch it. Search on the website or on YouTube, go Patrick. On to, yeah, go onto my website and yeah. put in vanilla extract and this and, will come up. And that's I'm a good a step ahead of you, Patrick. Well that's a, a good thing guys is is search if you if you want something from Gemma, either ask or just search for it. I bet I bet we've done it. I bet we have too. But we but we still love all of your uh, requests. Keep all everything. your questions coming in. Absolutely. I'm going to be giving away a free ebook in this video to the best comment that comes in or the best best question. So uh, keep them coming while our mug cake is cooking. Gemma, long time viewer, many time commenter, Byron Chandler says hello. Byron Chandler. So hi, say Byron hi to Chandler. Byron. Thank you for all the lovely comments as always. You're a great supporter of the channel. Uh, here's a good one. What's your favorite ingredient? Oh, that's a good one. What's my favorite ingredient? I'd say vanilla extract is my favorite ingredient. Vanilla extract, you have to think about extracts like seasonings. Like you have to think about them like salt to savory. Vanilla extract and other extracts, they are like salt to baking. They bring out all of the lovely flavors. They marry stuff together. So I would say actually, if I had to, um, if I were to pick one ingredient for baking, it would be vanilla extract. That's great. Um, let's see, Bluish Greenish um, asked a question um, and it's lost here as oh. far as the questions are coming in so fast. Thank you all so much. Um, we will try to answer as many as we can here. Keep keep them going. Keep so if, if I haven't answered a question, just ask it again, and we'll we'll absolutely uh, try to get to stuff. So and stay tuned as well because we're going to take our mug cake out of the microwave in a minute, and also stay tuned because Waffles is going to be making an appearance. If I can get him to get up out of his bed, because everybody loves waffles, we have to show waffles. Jim, what's the best part of working at home? Best part about working at home is that you can wear your slippers to work, <laughs> like I'm doing right now. <laughs> We can't quite pan down to see you that. Can't see my but, slippers, uh, and that's what I'm wearing right now. My slippers. But that's a uh, <laughs> that that's a good one. Um, cool, Jim. Do you want to uh, let's see? Uh, check on the mug cake. Yeah, let's check on the mug cake here. I thought yeah. how's it looking. 
So, ha has, has everyone noticed this, like, super retro mug? You guys like you this, like uh, this guy? Can you see him there, Kevin? Yeah, yeah. A little bit closer to the camera, Jim. So, a little roller skate. See? Any roller skaters out there? Are gorgeous? I was in a, a kind of a consignment store in Santa Barbara, and I got this little, these little mugs. There was only two of them, and I think they're absolutely fantastic. I'm going to add those to my collection. Jim, here's a good question from Carrie Redman. How are you and your cameraman related? Oh, are we related? We're married. He lives in my house. <laughs> All right. So some people are asking who, who Kevin is or who Kevin this is voice my is. And, and maybe I'll make an appearance, but after Waffles, because he's the star of the show. <laughs> Sorry, Kevin, but Waffles is a crowd pleaser. Oh, you yeah, can't I hear deny you. it. I hear you. Let's have a little look here at the mug, Kevin. Can you see this guy? Let's see. We're going to go close up. Look at that, nice and chocolatey. Lovely and chocolatey. He's firm on the top, but he's actually still really soft, so you know that he's perfectly cooked. He's still warm. This is fantastic. So this is a s'more mug cake. For those of you who are just tuning in, we are live streaming. We are doing a Q&A, and we are making an exclusive recipe for my Mug Meals book. It is a s'more mug cake. So we've just made our um, mug cake now, and the recipe can be found on my website, but we have to finish him off because he's only a chocolate cake right now, and he has to be a s'more. Gemma, real quick, um, and we'll finish it up, but um, uh, Healthy at Any Size says, my daughter makes a lot of your recipes. She's 14 years old and quite good. Yeah. She gets very upset when uh, she makes something that doesn't quite come out. Mm. Any any advice for her? Um, yeah, I like that's when I test the recipes. I try and make sure that 100% like I have successful recipes so you don't fail. So I would say if it's mug recipes, I have tips about how you can make successful mug um, recipes actually in the ebook and generally um, on the recipes on the website, like just how not to overcook them. Um, if you like watch the videos and listen for all the tips and read the website posts, you really shouldn't have any problems. But if she has uh, specific problems, message me or like um, write another comment or something because um, in all of the videos, I cover so much so you have successful mug cakes. All right. That helps. Let's, uh, let's finish this guy off. So here I have some graham crackers, Kevin, because a s'more is made up of chocolate and graham crackers and marshmallow. So here I have some graham crackers. They're smushed up. That's the technical term. I'm going to sprinkle them on top of the mug cake. It's kind of a little bit backwards. You have the chocolate and then the cookie on top. I'm going to smush those around. And then I have some marshmallows. And I'm going to pop some marshmallows on top. Put them there. Now, Kevin, I'm going to give this to you again. Okay. All right, I've got a... Um... So here is our mug cake. He's going to go into the microwave one more time, and we're just going to put him in there for around 25 seconds, and we just want the marshmallows to get nice and soft. All right, Jim. And smushy. Let me grab that, and at the same time, um, just a recap, Jim, for po folks who are joining us, maybe who are new. Um, how did you start your YouTube channel, Jim? Um, so I started my YouTube channel around... We're almost heading up on three years in February. Um, we were heading up on three years in February. It, uh, myself and Kevin wanted to, um, like, we saw that on YouTube, like, there was definitely, like, lots of great baking channels, but we thought that we could really make a difference by, um, like, sharing what I know because I'm a professionally trained chef. So, sharing um, all of my skills, everything I've learned over the year, and creating easy recipes with, like, over the top techniques, or sorry, over the top, over the top results. So um, we just started around oh, like a little under three years ago. We started uh, putting up videos, and and how you how we got started simply is we just started. We just started putting recipes out there, hoping that we could create this amazing community that we have created. Um, so I would say if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, just do it. That's like you would say, just do it. And Jim, you kind of talked about it a little bit, but what is bold baking? Bold baking, very simply, is easy recipes, uh, game-changing recipes with over-the-top results. With my techniques and with my recipes, they, you really shouldn't find them very hard. I think that I try and make them as simple as possible, but make the results as big as possible. Kevin, are we ready there? That's good. Perfect. Coming in. Let's switch cameras here. Do you see how the marshmallows puff up when they go into the microwave? We'll bring Look at that. Squishy. Oh. Right. So you just want to put the marshmallows back into the microwave for around 25 seconds or so because then they get really nice and soft. 
Can you see that, Kevin? Yep, it's right there. Which right to camera. Now, I use big marshmallows. You can also use small marshmallows. That's totally fine. And this recipe can be found on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. But also, um, why tell them a special nice one, Kevin? Yeah, let's do it. And here comes waffles. He's and it's there. in the description box now. And the link is in the description box, but I have put this recipe on my website, and I've also put kind of um, an ebook sampler, so you can see um, the table of contents of what is in the ebook, along with the mug, along with the s'more cake mug recipe. So it's on my website, biggerbolderbaking.com. If you go down onto the post, you scroll down, and there's a downloadable PDF. So if you're interested in buying my ebook, you can see the whole table of contents, everything that is in there, in case you want to buy it. If you like what you see, then you can click a buy button as well. But um, for this recipe, like I said, go onto my uh, my website. All right, um, Jim from Cheryl Edwin. What are your uh, baking tips for someone who's a beginner in baking? Um, I would say, what are baking tips? I would say definitely check out my Bold Baking Basics um, series where there's a lot of that is the fundamentals of baking. And I would start, like, I with my recipes, I think you can really start anywhere. Maybe, like, not with yeasted doughs, but with um, my ice creams, with my cookies, everything. I, and with mug cakes. Mug cakes are a great gateway to baking. They're a little bit of something that you can make easily with very little risk, and they turn out great. So I would say maybe start with mug cakes. That's great. Gemma, any advice for, um, Anna Kay is asking about advice for someone who wants to become a baker. Like what, what, what would you suggest? Advice for anyone who wants to become a baker. I would say um, just get stuck in and practice, practice, practice. Because lots of times when I was doing baking as a young kid, you don't always get it right at the first time, but you just keep on going and improve on your skills. All right, Jen, do you want to well, we have some breakfast uh, yeah. mug cake? So what, what time, remind people what time it is um, here. If you're actually watching live right now, it is um, 8.52 here. So if you're watching me and it's 8.52 where you are, or 52 where you are. A.M. A.M. <laughs> uh, we are live here. We're doing a Q, oh my gosh, Kevin. We're doing a Q and A. Look at that. We're doing a Q and A and we're making an exclusive mug cake, a s'more mug cake live. Can you see it, Kevin? Absolutely, a little bit closer. Uh, 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 Feel free to go a little bit closer to the camera. Do you guys want to see it? You see? Up close and personal. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's wow. That's that's see? super far. Yeah. <laughs> I try. Is it too hot? All there right, give give that a try. Um, all right. So, um, uh oh, what does it taste like, Jim? Nothing. Am I gonna get a marshmallow on myself, Kevin? I don't see it. <laughs> Do you guys see some marshmallow? <laughs> um, so here's a good question from Patricia B. Mm -hmm. Why do you set fire to Christmas pudding? Because you pour alcohol over it, and uh, it's just it has to, you do it because it's traditional. You pour brandy or whiskey over it, you set it on fire. Oh, it's yummy, 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 yummy. I love it. I wish I had one for Christmas this year. And <laughs> um, that's a really great question. Let's see, um, Jack E. Reb 3 asks, if you were a cake or cookie or any kind of sweet creation, yeah. what would you be? If I were a cake or a cookie, I think I would be, I think I'd be a, a funfetti cake. Because who does not love funfetti cake? It's like so pretty, it's bright and colorful, it's covered in sprinkles. I would say a funfetti cake. Kevin, can you still, I, want, I just want to make sure that everybody can Let's see, see the mug. Okay, we'll go back in. You guys can see that. So this little Super mug cake easy. is well worth making. It is really, really easy, just like Kevin said. It's only a few ingredients. It tastes delicious. And um, like I said, the recipe, can be, the recipe can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. And you also get to check out all the other recipes that are in my, um, my mug ebook for the holidays. And remember, no shipping. It's available worldwide. Um, it's well worth getting it as a Christmas present for somebody too. Cool. Alia says, um, Gemma, I'm a kid and I love your recipes. My whole family loves your recipes. Nice. That's very nice. That's lovely. Emily Reynolds asks, how old is Waffles? Which is a good time for maybe a Waffles appearance. Do you, you guys want to see our dog Waffles? Waffles. Waffles is four. He's, near, he's almost four, isn't he, Kevin? Yeah. Waffles, yeah. come here to me. Um, he is a wheat and terrier. Come here to me. He's a wheat and terrier lasso oxo mix. Now you're going to excuse me for a second. Come here to me. Come here to me. Here we go. Oh. 
This is Waffles. Here's the main man. Can you see him? It's a main man. There's Waffles. Waffles is a wheat and terrier and so up so mix. He, thank you, thank you Waffles. Um, he is a rescue. We got him here in um, LA. He was found on the streets roaming around. He didn't even look like this dog right now. He was skin and bones. He had no hair. Oh, he was miserable, but now he's very, very happy. But um, he, uh, he definitely is. He rules the house, doesn't he, Kevin? He does. He does. Yeah, he's, yeah, he he's sure a, does. He's a big man. He is. Um, so, someone asked if Waffles uh, likes to eat waffles. Waffles likes to eat everything. Yes. I have a question. Do people think that Waffles should have his own Instagram account? Because I do. I think he should have his own Instagram account. I'm, Oh yeah, yeah, stop that. <laughs> you just man outside the grill down, did you hear that? <laughs> oh, you're so bold. Oh, you're so bold. Oh, um, <laughs> man. Okay, goodbye everybody. Uh, Alright, Gemma. Yeah. Um, some, some little uh, lightning round here. Okay. Rob asks, what's your least favorite dessert? Sorbet. Or a fruit plate. That's I would say one. fruit plate. <laughs> That's a good one. Don't order a fruit plate in my company, because I won't be sharing my dessert with you. That's great. Um, That's a really good question. Uh, Luce, uh, Lucia um, asks, can you do pancakes without eggs? Or can you make um, pancakes I, I, without to eggs? To be honest with you, I haven't done that. I'm sure you can. I haven't done that. I haven't got a recipe for it either. Cool. Cheryl Edwin asks, um, what are some of your goals in 2017? Like, what do you, what do you want to do? Uh, I think that's a great question. That might be the, the winner of the ebook question, Kevin. Do you think that's a good one? I, I kind of like the set fire to Christmas pudding. Maybe they'll both win. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually like that one, too. Um, so, uh, plans for 2017. Great question. A big and bold cookbook. Um, I'm going to be working on a cookbook in the new year. Um, it's going to take up a huge amount of time. They um, are a lot of work, but I'm really, really excited to get started. It is definitely a personal goal for me. We've had a lot of requests from the audience. So... 2017 a cookbook and then also um 2017 i would like to um, be doing like more tv appearances we do some here in la we've been on the doctors a few times so i definitely think definitely more tv as well and then i think just making the channel bigger and better cool um jesse tube asks do you have any kids nope you just saw him yeah. waffles um who are um, Amanda Huggins asks, who is your baking, like, favorite bakers out there? Favorite baker? I don't know if it is as much as a baker, but I love Nigella Lawson. I love Nigella Lawson. I love Ina Garten. Um, and then I'm thinking more, well, that's in England and America. But, um, yeah, I'd say, like, the most, most like, popular, well-known uh, celebrity chefs, I would say, like, Nigella Lawson. Okay, that's great. Um, let's see, uh... Cooking with Kate says hi. hi um, thanks Kate. so much for for um, for tuning in, everybody. Um, let's see. Uh, how long have we been married, Gemma? We've been married uh, just over four years. Just over four years. That's great. A lot of fans of Nigella here as well. Yeah, that's best. Um, let's she see. She makes great Christmas shows. Have you ever seen her Christmas shows? They're fantastic. I love them. All right, Gemma. You kind of talked earlier. Mark Berenger asked about your your biggest baking mistake. Um, biggest baking mistake. But like, uh, what would you how, say that is? how do you recover? How do you recover is the question. Um, I make it again. <laughs> there we go. I don't tell anybody and I make it again. That's great. Um, let's see. Uh, the Glorious Panda asks, is it possible to make waffles without a waffle tray? So here's a very, a very good question. I tried it. I tried it probably three times, didn't I, Kevin? Yeah. It can't be done. It, it, if you want to get that crisscross, one thing you can do is cook waffles off in a skillet with the kind of jagged edges, but you're not going to be able to turn it around and get the crisscross. I tried it so many times because I wanted to do it as part of a bowl baking basics, and I didn't have any success. Yeah, here's a good question for the audience is, um, uh, you know, Gemma's working on a cookbook. What do you guys want to see? Like, yeah, what, what's what something interesting um, that, that you'd like to see? We really love your you know, your input and, and definitely want to make you part of that, that journey. Yeah, um, uh, I would say let us know what you want for 2017, um, any recipes, um, out and about with Gemma and um, whatever, you, whatever you think. So keep them all coming, all the great suggestions. And here's a good opportunity actually, um, because we only do two YouTube videos a week, 
every single day of the week I'm on social media so make sure you um, follow Gemma Stafford's Bigger Boulder Baking on uh, Facebook Gemma underscore Stafford on Instagram make sure it's not a fan page make sure it's my real um, authorized page um, I'm not so much on Twitter but I would say Instagram and Facebook I'm huge on and I'm there every single day so make sure you follow me to see like me out and about to see more with Kevin and Waffles all behind the scenes stuff and also I'm always on Instagram live um, as well so so that's a good one to follow me on. Ash Ketchup asks um, about do you cater in the Los Angeles area? No <laughs> I never I catered in San Francisco area and um, not in the Los Angeles area. That's great. Um, let's see, uh, Siantrar is asking uh, to bake with me, bake against Kevin, oh, that we would have Kevin. a cook-off. Oh, I like, like that. that could be, I love a that could be possible. That could be possible. Do, who wants to see Kevin in this year's Valentine's episode? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a oh, good one last year. I thought that was really good. Emily C. asks, uh, what is your lipstick and nail polish? Clinique. Um... And uh, is it IPO or what's that? Not IP, you know that make IPO or something. It's this guy, and then this is Clinique. My makeup is mostly Clinique or Mac. All right, Lacona asks a good question. If you had to omit one tool from your kitchen, what would it be and why? I from South Africa. I was going to show my. There it goes. <laughs> this is live. Um, say this to me again, Kevin. If you were to get rid of like one appliance from the kitchen, what would it be? Um, I would say my waffle maker because I hardly ever use it. Yeah, yeah. because I, because um, like that's why I tried to make waffles without a waffles machine because I wanted you to be able to make waffles without a machine. But um, I hardly ever use my waffle machine ever. That's great. Um, just kind of rounding out again, Jim. Um, Cupcake Princess asks, "How did you know like you were passionate about baking?" It's the only thing, like, it was from a very, very young age, I just was obsessed. So there was no other way around it. I either wanted to, when I was young, I wanted to be a teacher or I wanted to be a chef. Um, and I feel like now, at this point in my career, I'm a little bit of both. But um, there were the only two things I wanted to do. That's great. Um, all right, Jim, do you want to do a recap? Just yeah, to let's do a little recap. So this is going to be the end of our live stream. Um, in this live stream, for those of you just tuning in, it's 9.02 right now in Los Angeles. We made, uh, we did a live Q&A, got some great comments. We made a s'more mug cake. Not sure if you can still see that. A s'more mug cake is absolutely delicious. The recipe for this mug cake, this is an exclusive recipe from my um, Mug Meals ebook for the holidays. It can be found on biggerbolderbaking.com. It is a downloadable PDF and there's also a table of contents of what is in my Mug Meals book. In case you want to buy my Mug Meals book as a Christmas present for the holidays, whatever you want to do with it, but um, it is there, you can just one click away and you can buy it. Um, and Jim, let's, yeah. uh, let's award our best comments, I think. What do you think? I think we had them. I think oh, it, yeah, was, it was Cheryl. Uh, why set the brand? Why, um, for 2017. Oh, 20, what's right. your goals, 2017? goals for 2017. And then uh, why set the brandy on fire. Yeah, and, so. and that was... Patricia, I believe. So we'll get your guys information and uh, we will email you a free ebook for the holidays. Um, um, what's coming up next Monday, Kevin? Well, Jim, um, maybe you can tell them a little bit about um, some best ofs. Yeah, oh, yeah. Thing, things like that. Um, next Monday is um, best ofs 2016. So um, some of the best moments, best recipes. There's going to be um, a little bit of waffles in there, a little bit of Kevin. So uh, that's Monday, so check that out. And then the following week is bloopers, and there are a lot of bloopers from my show. So uh, definitely, you don't want to miss that. I'd say. Um, cool. You want, me, um, you want to just uh, do one thing, and then. Uh, what are you doing? And then uh, just keep going. Okay. Um, uh, well, so you, um, because it is Christmas, I have my Christmas jumper on. We are, I'm celebrating Christmas in Los Angeles. I'm not going home to Ireland. But I really hope you have, uh, no matter what holiday you celebrate, have um, a wonderful time with your friends and family. Um, I think Kevin is coming over here now. You going to get waffles on the way? No, probably not. <laughs> waffles had his moment. I know, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Not sure if I'm on camera or not, but uh, here, here he comes. You here he comes, there. guys. Yeah, why not? Come on, um, 
Thanks for all of your comments. Just to remember, uh, remember with live, um, all of the comments um, actually disappear after a little while. So feel free to go back to um, the video when it's made available and ask more comments. Um, you know that uh, you know you guys are so important to us. Gemma loves getting your comments, loves answering your comments um, everywhere. We really appreciate everything. We hope you have a great holiday, whatever you celebrate, or if you don't, that's okay. Just have a great couple weeks here, and um, we really appreciate it. We're going to have an amazing 2017. Thank you, guys. Just like Kevin said, thank you for everything. All right. Bye, Bye guys. Now I'm going to go over. Jim's going to keep waiting, and waving. then I'm going to turn it off. Like a weirdo. Because this is truly Bye. us, too. <laughs> Have a wonderful Christmas and um, holiday season and um, stay tuned for Monday, Thursday. We're still here all over the holidays. Make sure you tune in, watch and also don't forget to subscribe and share our videos. Share them with people who you know who love baking um, and uh, all that stuff. Okay, bye. Bye Waffle.